Around 10,000 years ago, tar pits were a normal and dangerous part of the landscape. There were times when animals got stuck and died when they fell into the asphalt. Over a million bones have been found in the Labrie tar pits in California. This has one of the world's biggest and best preserved groups of sapper tooth bones. Scientists use information from the Labrie tar pits to piece together the natural history of the area, such as the past of the sapper tooth cat. Researchers now know that the first record of a saber-toothed cat was found two million years ago. Saber-tooths lived all over North and South America, and they are linked to cats today. But there are no living, real descendants of the saber-toothed cat right now. These animals lived at the same time as the huge woolly mammoth, which is thought to be the ancestor of the elephant. However, unlike mammoths, saber-toothed tiger skeletons have not been found in good condition. We don't know for sure what these cats looked like when they were living, but their bones help us figure it out. One thing that makes saber-toothed animals stand out is their amazing dental changes, especially their canine teeth that look like sabers. They are different from other carnivorous species because their teeth are long, bent, and very sharp. The details given about these teeth usually include information about their size, shape, and direction, which are often bigger than the sizes of teeth found in current animals. The sharp, sharpened ends and strong structure of the canines made them not only beautiful but also very important to the creature's survival. There are several ways that these changes to the teeth work. While it might be easy to think of these powerful dogs only as predators, experts think they have many other uses as well. With their sharp, deadly bites, these saber teeth were probably very useful for hunting and taming animals. It's also possible that the dogs were used as weapons in dominance fights or mating competitions within the same species. The study of wear patterns on preserved teeth helps us understand what roles these changes played in the lives of the saber-toothed animals. Along with their unique teeth, saber-toothed animals had unique bodies, including differences in size, weight, the shape of their limbs, and their ability to move. Saber-toothed animals were usually strong, and some species got very big. The size and weight they carried had an impact on their biological roles. It's possible that bigger animals had different ways of hunting and preferred food than smaller animals. Understanding the differences in saber-toothed cat size and weight helps us understand their natural niches and how they have evolved to survive. Extinction is a complicated biological event that is affected by many things. Climate change and competition with other species are two major factors that are putting saber-toothed animals out of their range. Changes in the climate were largely to blame for the extinction of saber-toothed animals. Changes in world climate trends, like changes in temperature and amount of rain, had a direct effect on the environments these animals lived in. As the weather changed, so did the plants and surroundings that animals needed to survive. Saber-toothed species that had become used to certain conditions in their surroundings had a hard time adapting to these changes. They probably lost resources because they couldn't adapt quickly enough to the changing environment, which hurt their food supply and general health. Another important reason why saber-toothed animals are going extinct is competition with other species. Throughout Earth's past, different species have lived together and fought over resources. Saber-toothed animals had to deal with both straight competitors and possible attackers. It's possible that the development of new species with better hunting or defense skills puts more stress on saber-toothed animals. Their number may have gone down because there was more struggle for scarce resources like food or land, which may have finally led to their demise. Thank you for joining us on this expedition into the world of the Sabertooth. If you enjoyed this exploration of prehistoric wonders, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting journeys through the annals of Earth's natural history. Stay curious, and until next time, happy exploring!